Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. This weekend is the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We continue in Matthew chapter 13, a beautiful chapter full of stories of parables of the kingdom. Jesus is trying to help us know what is God's way. And when we can identify God's way, then we can root out anything that is not of God's way. The way is how God intended the world to be, and the way is our destiny. We are made for the kingdom of God. Today we are moving closer to it. God is trying to accomplish it. So Jesus wants to help us to identify it so that we can participate in it. First of all, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a man who sowed good feed in his soil, but then at night an enemy came in and sowed weeds, and they didn't discover that until it had grown up. So then the servants came and said, should we pull out the weeds? And the master said, no, if you do that, you might pull out the wheat also. So what does that mean? God allows there to be weeds among the wheat. God allows there to be evil in the presence of God's reign, in the presence of our life here on earth. Why does God do that? It's a deep question. And the simple and spiritual answer is that God allows everything to happen for our salvation. And so we can trust when we see something in the world that is not of God, it can incite in us something of God. So if I see something unjust, I can act justly. If I see a lack of caring, I can be a more caring person. If I see something that needs truth spoken to it, I can do that. So somehow the presence of evil and brokenness, the presence of incompleteness, can awaken in us something of God. And also, God wants a free response of our love. And we can only do that if we also can respond against God's love. And we know that unfortunately we do that. We are sinners, but we have a God who shows us the way to come back. And so the weeds are there. Don't focus on them. Don't get stuck with that. Just know that God wants to help us to use those to help us grow in holiness. So think of something in your life with which you are struggling. How can you ask God to make that a strength for you instead? Number two, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it grows, it becomes a large plant. We have a God who likes the small, the least, the littlest, those things that don't get noticed. Our culture is big and bold and beautiful, and God says, no, my reign is small. So God is like a parent, I think, who receives a child at birth and then delights in interacting with that child until the child matures. Our God, Jesus says, is a father. Our God is a mother, a parent who helped create us. And our God loves to interact with us to help us grow. So today God is speaking with you and moving with you and interacting with you. So let him do that. And when God does that, then the smallness of us can become the bigness of God's kingdom and God's reign. God loves you and he's with you today.